Picture this. It's the early 2000s. You're a young kid, about five, six years old, and you're getting ready to go to school, but you got some time to kill because you got everything going, you're just waiting for the bus. A lot of times you're just, you know, either you're watching news with your parents or you're watching kids television shows. Now, I'm not going to sit here and brag about Treehouse or PBS because when I was like five, six years old, I never had that. In fact, we only had like two channels. That was being a CBC and CTV. Yeah, I'm a Canadian, so I got a lot of the Canadian content. And I can remember very vividly as a young kid, all the morning shows I used to watch before we go up and go to school, get on the bus. Shows like Roly Polioli was a really big one. Um... Lunar Jam really sticks to my mind. I'm not sure if anyone remembers that. Freaking Doodle Bops. That fucking song. God, it was such an annoying. Freaking, I remember Franklin, the old turtle kid, and the bear was kind of a dick to him, and he wanted to kick the shit out of him and stuff. Oh, and there was another one I used to watch as a kid. It was, um, it was, uh, what was it called? It was like, um, like these two, like, brother and sister, and, oh, it doesn't matter. I guess the point I'm going to be is, no, I don't matter. I won't. What the fuck's that show called? Ah, ah. Brother, sister, like a closet, like magical creatures, they pop up and they go in the attic and shit. What the fuck's it called? It's like, um, so fuck. Okay, let me look this up. Uh, give me a second. Dragon Tales. Dragon Tales. I remember that. Dragon Tales. I used to watch as a kid. I remember that one. I remember that fucking one. Dragon Tales. That was my childhood, but there was always that one TV show as a kid. We always wake up. I remember waking up seven in the morning just to watch this one. That being Arthur. Every day when you're walking down the street, everybody the way he's walking, he's like, I like the, the confidence in his walk. He's just kind of like, I'm on my way to go fuck your bitch. That's, that's Arthur, man. He's just going right for it. This was a really good show for me in, in my day. I think for a lot of people, too, at my age, used to watch Arthur. Or maybe to this day. There was always Arthur, there was DW, the little sister, who I fucking hated. Francine, I think, was like the... the Tomboy girl, I think. Uh, the rabbit buster. It was basically a kid's show, and for its time, it was fine. Tell you some good stories about what to do and stuff. I didn't pay attention to it because it was just something for me to do. But the point is, Arthur was a big part of my young childhood. And it's kind of sad to hear now that it's finally coming to an end. The show has officially done. After 25 years, it's finally over with. I think it'd be cool, out of respect, to watch the very last scene of Arthur just to give it a little goodbye at least for me. I grew up with it. I think it's only fair I take a look. So let's take a look. My boy! Why are you looking like that? You know? What's with the haircut? What's with the fucking stuff? I I I know it's like 20 years, so he'd be like what? 25. The latest polls have us neck and neck, but I think I can pull ahead. What happened to Francine? Oh, her face looks rough. I'm not make, making fun of the fact of her hair, cause like, she looks kind of like she had a fucking rough night out, you know what I mean? A little too much to party, and, and I think that's Millie, I believe. Is that Matt Millie, the, the bratty little girl? Sure. My sugar bowl is your sugar bowl, and I'll do anything to get that Mayor Hirsch out of office. I know. Why doesn't he just retire already? Fucking boomer! Retire, bitch! Who, who's Hirsch? Hey, are those the latest style? Yeah, but we haven't released them yet. I'm just testing them out. Who ever thought I'd get so much exercise running a company that makes sneakers? What do you mean? The shoe company. You, you have to test them out, right? You have to run to test the shoes out, you fucking moron! Come on! It may be nice now, but that... There he is! Blinko! Oh man, he was one of the best characters in the show, honestly. Hey, what were he saying about? Is it a fact or an opinion that she is a girl? Uh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. Hey, there's DW. I wonder who the unlucky driver is this time. Hey, this is a no parking zone. You know what? I'm not even surprised she's a cop. Hey, DW. It's me, Bud! Bud Compson? What are you doing back? Let me buy you coffee. You fucking simp. You're the only ones who have ever seen it except for my publisher. Wow. Ah, get it? Because he wrote this story. Wow. I never imagined you'd write a graphic novel. Me neither. I just like drawing animals. I guarantee you, fucking Arthur sitting in his room smoking a dude would be probably thinking something like, uh... <laughs> you know, 
be a good <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! You know, I have to just suck for fucking real, so I'm not gonna continue that. You know what'd be an excellent fucking story? My life. Dude, I can make that artistic, bro. When I was like a little kid, I can make so much money. Profit off it. Guarantee you, it's gonna come a kid's show for 25 years. I can fucking see in the future, man. Why are you laughing at me? Well, what are you waiting for? Read it to us. Chapter one. How I got my very first pair of glasses. Look at this fucking guy. I guarantee you this fucking guy's got a fucking liberal arts degree. <laughs> Who the fuck needs a liberal arts degree? <laughs> huh. Huh. <coughs> oh shit. <coughs> oh, oh. I was gonna say thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to look. <coughs> what I was gonna say, holy shit. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you guys think, and if you want to see more content, <coughs> I'm fucking dying. So please, <coughs> subscribe so I don't fucking die. <coughs> Oh, that hit differently. Fucking hell.